We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Dallas Cowboys. And he returns this to the 22. They'll start the drive with Elliott. He gets away from one. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. So much for staying ahead of the chains with a three or four yard gain on first down. They move the chains with a nice little run. Yeah, they're making the chain gang hustle a little bit to try and keep up, aren't they? Because a lot of the first series of games are scripted. Many times to probe and find some holes in the defense. Sometimes you attack with some big time runs too. And a five yard gain gets him to the 42. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Here's Prescott. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Meanwhile, Dax throw taken in there by Cooks. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. A handoff left, Elliott. There's a nice move. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Second and five. Throwing. Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. This is where you can try and get a tight end in space. They like this matchup, so they're going to let their two receivers to his outside, run simple little short routes, hoping to suck up the secondary. And that'll free up space for their tight end on a corner route to make a big play. A dump off to Elliott. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. To throw is Prescott. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And that sack there, that likely brings out the field goal unit, so they might have to settle for three here on their opening drive. 
They did some nice things, getting things started there, moving the ball downfield, but taking that sack on third down, that lets the air out of the momentum balloon just a little bit. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. And all in all, a pretty decent opening drive, Charles. Pretty balanced. They had the passing game going and the rushing attack, too. I would think they have to be happy with that start because you get your ground game going, which means your offensive line and your runners are pretty happy, and then you get your aerial attack going as well, so your quarterback and receivers have smiles on their faces. Now both up to speed, awaiting their next possessions for this game. They can't wait to get started again. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And despite a nice juke there, really good move, he only gets about a yard, and it brings up second down. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Play action. Stroud now. Throw right side taken in by Collins. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one. You know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman. But they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. On first down, here's Stroud. Taking a shot for Dell here. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. Let's go, here's second and ten. Mixing up the middle. And not much room to speak of. He'll get about three up to the 41. Here comes third down and seven. Stroud. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Texans football to start quarter two as they've got it with a first and ten. Throwing now is Stroud. That one complete. It's Tank Dell. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. Running left, it's Mixon. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 
So the big gain all for naught for the offense. That yellow flag is going to bring it back. Oh, what a tough look for the offense because they see all that yardage lost in that ball. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Damone Clark fought his way through and buried him behind the line. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Stroud to throw it. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. A big gain there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. On third down, Mixon. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. When they're lined up in the 46 defense like that, running is just going to be a slog. Especially if you're trying to run it in the middle of the defense. So what you're hoping, get a stalemate against the three across the front. And can you get some one-on-one -on -one blocks that you can win on the perimeter? To me, that's the best place to carry the football. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Going a little tennis on well, me. I huh? know you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the serve? It, it, what was the return on? It was a backhand. I like a that really one. good backhand. With some nice top spin on the a little bit. Thing. A little I bit. love it. Almost yeah. a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. On first and 10, Prescott over the middle complete. It's Lamb. Here's a second and five. Inside give to Elliott. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. 45 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. Prescott on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Lamb. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam, puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion, really good pickup. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Offenses all over continue to be aggressive, and most people never turn down a shot at a deep ball but oftentimes it attracts a little bit of extra attention, and it did on that play, and that one got knocked away. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Now Prescott, a short one there, taken in by Ferguson. Room to maneuver at the 35, and he's gonna be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 31-yard line. A big play that time on the catch and run, and it'll move the chains. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. 
After the penalty, it's Elliott. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent gain and first down. Simply put, you've got to put up more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. Prescott looks to throw on first. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Brandon Cooks from 21 yards away. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. And when the quarterback drops and has a guy that wide open in the end zone, his eyes have to get just as big as grapefruits. Oh, without a doubt. This is the easiest throw you're going to get, and you're going to get the benefit of a touchdown on top of it. Make that throw. Well, the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And the lead is now 10-3. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Now here's Stroud. That is caught by Dell. A huge play there for Houston. And even 50 yards. Just a breakdown there defensively. It looked like someone got their wires crossed because no one seemed to pick him up at all. He's running free, and there's not a quarterback in the league who's going to miss that throw. That's a huge play. Exactly 50 yards on that last play as they just go from 125 to the other for first and 10. Stroud. And he's got his man on the out route. And down inside the 15 he goes. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Stroud to the air on first and 10. On a slant, here's Collins. And the Texans are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. The throwing again is Stroud. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Now Stroud had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake, third down. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Third and goal, Stroud. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Nico Collins from four yards out. And the Texans are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes 
You throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Prescott to throw it. Going right back to Ferguson. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Prescott. Cooks on a quick slant. And he will have a first down as they're into field goal range now at the 30. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Prescott. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Second down, eight to go from the 28. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. His throw incomplete. Anytime a ball is thrown in the middle of the field and it's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Prescott now. And yeah, that will be incomplete. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on is Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they will take the lead at 13-10. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. 
From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. And tip your cap to Demarcus Lawrence. Nice play defensively. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. And the half will begin with a touchback. Stroud now on first and ten. This goes out wide for Mixon. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man. And each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Give him six on the run. They're going to be faced now with a third and 12. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground. But every now and then, you find a little chink in the armor, and that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no gain. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. It appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench, but this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. On oh, is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. But he can't get away forever, and down he goes. Daniil Hunter showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. And, of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be trying to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. And I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive, so either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting sacked. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. The Texans here on third down, putting an extra defender in the secondary. Here's Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And he's got it inside the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's how you put field position. What a play right there. That nearly went the distance. Credit this defense for not giving up. They get him down just short of the goal line, but the damage is done. It's going to be first and goal from an ideal position. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Elliott will take this into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone. And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. Aubrey good with a PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead.
So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They'll try to get the run game going. This is Mixon. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Stroud looking to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And taken right at the 35. 31 yards on the punt there. And they will take over first and 10. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Prescott's throw taken in there by Cooks. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 22 yards there, a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. Dallas, Texas is the spot. Third quarter inside AT&T Stadium. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. A gain of ten as they look to add on to this ten-point lead. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Jalen Tobert, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys are able to extend their lead. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. 
And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Stroud off the play fake. Man open downfield as Diggs. He's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Only able to gain a couple there, and that'll bring up second down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. The Texans on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 10. Here's Stroud. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Now they'll go play action here with Stroud. He's got it to Collins complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 23 yards on the play. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but... Certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something to feel. Touchdown, Texans! Take Dell from 10 yards out. And the Texans have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbair now to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. 
And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Prescott on first down. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And it's second down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. With that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 97 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Prescott. This is caught. It's caught. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. And he's got it. Touchdown, Cowboys. Jalen Tobert, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. An important score there, CD, and now an important extra point because it would make it a three-score game. Love the math there, and at this point in the fourth quarter, look, we all need next-gen stats, right? We all use them, but we don't need them here, do we? Because that means it's almost a certain victory. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Now they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. And that went to the right side and incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Stroud. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. Stroud on third down now. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, 
blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now here's Stroud. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Texans first down. And this is going to wind up being not just a conversion, but a play that flips the field as well. Well, give them credit. They're going to stay and fight this out to the end. Fourth down, you've got to go for it. And they not only convert, but pick up some good yardage as well. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. To the right side and caught by Dell. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. The throwing again is Stroud. Touchdown! Stephon Diggs from six yards away. And the Texans are able to cut into that deficit. The fourth quarter touchdown there, back to a two-score game, but time is not their ally. No, it's not, partner. They still have a pulse, but it's probably a little weak right now. A lot of things have to go right in these final two minutes plus for them. I think they have to be thinking onside kick here, and we know how difficult those are to recover. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. Up the middle. Here's Elliott. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 111 yards rushing now for Zeke, and he's got a first down. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and they'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, it has been the passing game that's really been responsible for much of the scoring so far, but let's not forget about this running attack. They're pretty good, too, as evidenced right there. And I think, Brandon, the fact that they've thrown the ball so well contributed to that touchdown because that was a defense that was really keyed up to cover those receivers. All they wanted to do was blanket them. They didn't have enough men in the box to stop the run, and you saw the end result. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 
Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Throwing now is Stroud. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hook up again on third down to keep this drive alive. Again, it's Drown. And that one too wide and incomplete. Nico Collins, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Now Stroud. That is caught by Dell. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 13-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Stroud will look to throw once more. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Stephon Diggs with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Texans are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. 
The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Prescott, he goes down to a knee, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory. Even better for them. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA.